Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we will be experimenting with slingshots. I have to close my door. You have to lock said door. Here we go. So I got a music stand here. And I'm going to put my tablet on because I can't get stuff out of my GoPro. Okay, so here we are. A simple slingshot. When what are we going to launch out of it, you may be asking? Oh no, I have dropped my tablet. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to put this, this in the holders here. And I'm going to squeeze it in. There we go. Move this. And there. Now, we have cat toy. We're going to take this cat toy. We're going to pull this back. And if you're wondering what this is, it's clay. Just going to pound it down. I think I have a hammer somewhere. Okay. And we will be putting cat toy right there. And... So, it didn't launch very far, but now we are going to try the second version of the catapult, where we try to move this a little bit forward so it can have more tension as it pulls back. The more tension, the further it launches, is what I've heard. So. Here we go. Nice and bendy. You can feel that there's more tension. Yeah, that launched a lot further. That launched, I'd say, two and a half feet. Not too far, but not short. But it's not long enough. So now. We are going to move on to the next thing. A metal straw. And a hairband. I have a lot of hair. Hairband. Okay. So we're going to put this around the bottom. It's not bending. So we're going to move this top part down if it's possible. It is possible. We can move it down. But I'm not going to move it down because I don't want it to break. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put it here on this part. And we're going to take this, put that around this. And I don't know how I'm going to be keeping this metal straw still. Yeah, that is a problem. We need to slide this up the metal straw. And as we go into the next test, take this. Oh, that's a lot of tension. I believe there's a way that I can keep this up. I'm going to go grab that. So, we have this, it's not dirty, and we are going to open our project box. There's nothing inside besides markers, so nothing cool inside. But just going to keep that here in a closed project box. One side can't close, which is good, and we're going to put move this closer to this and I'm going to grab a clip so here I have this clip thing here made of metal this thing in the boober bobber or whatever here it's a clip 
So now put metal straw here. Take very strong clip. Put that there. So, I think this is as powerful as we can make it with simple items. Last time I tried to, tried to use this Wilson's air pump to try to hold up the metal straw. So, here we are. jam that in there. We have so much momentum, it is breaking the straw. I mean, it's actually breaking the spoon. Why do I keep dropping it? Three, two, one. Yes! That launched at least seven feet. So, I'd call that first, I'd call that a success for part one. If you want to see a part two, leave a like. And maybe I'll do a part two. Let's set a goal. Three, set five likes. I have around 20 subscribers. Five likes should be easy. If you can leave five likes, we'll make an insanely powerful thing that is six feet tall and launches cannonballs. So, <laughs> see you in the next video, guys. Peace out, dudes.